Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube. I hope you guys are doing good. So in this video, we will learn about the event handling using JavaScript and try to modify the element styles dynamically. So without further delay, let's get started. So events are the triggers that executes on a certain condition like uh, when someone clicks on a mouse then we have an on click event and when someone types on the keyboard then we have a different events like on key press, on key up, or on key down. So we can just uh, attach uh, an event listener that is uh, maybe a function or a certain code that will execute on that uh, trigger or uh, that event basically. So we'll just see it now. So I have uh, nothing on the HTML page so far. So what I'll do, I'll just create uh, some HTML element here. I'll just create a button and give it a text of click me. And now what I want to do is like when someone clicks on this button, I want some function to be executed. So function I'll create here, like function sample I'll call it. Sample function I'll call it and define. And in this sample function, I just want to log to the console. Okay, welcome. So this is like simple. I'm just trying to explain you the syntax. So there are two ways to attach the event listener to the HTML element. So what you can do, for example, you have this button, you can just add an attribute here called on click, or you can just specify the different event like uh, you specify on click or uh, on mouse over or on drag on drop. There are different kinds of events. So I, I'm using on click and on the on click, I want this sample function to execute. So I can just pass the name of this sample function here so you can just specify the name of this sample function here so basically whenever someone clicks on this click me this function will execute and you can see this this functions log some uh, text to the console basically so if i save the program you will see when i click on this it's saying okay welcome if i click it again uh, you see okay welcome so this is a one way to attach an event listener to the uh, HTML element. There's an, another way which you can write uh, directly in your JavaScript code. So what you can do here, so here you just need to take a reference to the HTML element to which you want to attach the event. So I'm just taking HTML reference like button is equivalent to document.query selector and uh, you can just pass the selector. So I have a one button on HTML page so I'm attaching uh, just a button here and you can add a event listener so like button dot add event listener so this takes in two parameters the first parameter is like the event which you want to execute for example i want to execute uh, on click so whenever someone clicks on this element the this event will execute and then second parameter to this function uh, is the callback function so basically this function will execute when someone clicks on the this html button which we have taken a reference from here so it also receives the event object so this event object contains certain details like uh, uh, like what is the event what is the target and many different details which you don't need to uh, worry about now and uh, so in this log uh, if i can just log to the console here basically or just call this function back here so if i want to call this function back here so i'll just specify its name here sample and you will see the same output now if you click on this button you will see okay welcome on the screen so this is kind of same syntax so now what we will try to do like uh, we'll have a one more paragraph here so i'll just define a one more paragraph here with some text after this button we have some paragraph like this is some text this is some text and if i save you will see it, it is here like this is some text now what I want to do, uh, I want to hide this text when someone clicks on this button like uh, so what I can do I have since I have attached this event listener on this button. So basically this function will execute when someone clicks on button. So what I can do in this uh, function here first let me just take a reference to the this p tag here. So again uh, I can just call it a p tag and then use document.query selector here. So document dot query selector and pass the p tag because we have a one p tag only in our page. So this will have now a reference to this p tag here. So here then in this function when this function is execute what I want I have this p tag. I want its style to be modified like p tag dot style dot display. We know the display property and if we set it equals to none. So basically this element will be hidden. So you see now this element is shown here, but if I click on click me, you see this element is now invisible. So in this way, basically you can just hide a certain element. If I refresh it again, you will see that element come back again.
so now what i want is i want its color to be changed dynamically so what i can do in here i can just define a one more tag of input and its type should be color so this will give us a color picker basically so we'll save the program and you will see here we have a color picker and we can just select a color from this right and then what i will want to do is like this function will execute uh, when we click on this button but now we want to attach on on change of this color like for example when someone changes the colors in this color picker i want this function to be executed or i'll create a separate function so i'll just define a one more function here called function change color or you can call uh, anything so change color i'll call it and then uh, here in the input type color you can specify your attribute called on change so like when someone changes the color you want this function to execute the change color so i'll just pass it here change color and now this change color will pass a argument so this here is referring to this input tag so what you can do you can just pass a color here like this dot color this dot color will be this dot not color sorry this dot value here so this dot value will contain basically a color value and if you come here we know this function will execute so we are passing the color value from here so we can just receive a color here right and once we receive the color here we can again tag uh, a reference to this p tag here so we have this p tag here and we can just modify its style p tag dot style dot color we want its color attribute to be changed equal to this color and this color is equal to whatever we select here because this input has a value being passed from here so i can just specify it to color to here so if i save the program now and you will see when i go here and change the red and hit enter you will see this text is becoming red so okay i hope you can see it and now if i change it to blue and hit enter you will see this is becoming blue now so you can just change uh, any color whatever you want here so this text will become like that so in this way you can just modify any style attribute for example if i change its uh, now type from color to the range so range will help us to select a certain number range right we'll see it so range basically looks like this so if we increase or decrease its value it will have a certain number so what i want i don't want its color to be changed i want its font size to be changed the font size is equal to not color basically this will be a uh, value basically i'll change it to v v but with this v we want to specify the unit as well so we can use v dot plus pixel so it becomes like six pixel eight pixel depending upon the range value being selected so if i say, uh, save it and now try to increase its value you will see the text is becoming larger if, so if i decrease its value it becomes smaller smaller and smaller and smaller so like this it starts with the zero and uh, you can just increase the font size with this so in this way you can basically take uh, any kind of attributes like color range or any maybe a value from any input box which you want to specify the size and change the attributes or styles of any html element by specifying the element dot style and then specifying any attribute like width color size or whatever css you want to change you can access that with element dot style and then specifying the corresponding value so i hope you do like the video and if you have any issue with the program please let me know in the comments and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know if there is any issue meanwhile take care see you soon